Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we said a good place to start from the previous video was using two N20 bars for minimum, minimum sagging. We're now gonna actually verify this, uh, doing it properly by finding um, rect rectangular stress blocks and all that type of stuff. So just to sort of remind you of that, I'm just gonna redraw the, um, re the stress diagram for our situation. So this is the stress picture. Now the stress in the concrete and compression is alpha two FC dash, so that's from the code, and this height I'm going to call A, which is actually gamma dn, okay, uh, where dn is the distance to the neutral axis, so it's gamma dn, I'm going to call that A. Technically, this is actually gamma KUD, if you want to be specific, which I'm just going to call A, okay, that's that height there, so that's a distance, this is a stress. Now we also have the stress due to the steel at yield. So we have FSY, the stress of the steel at yield. Now, in terms of the force diagram, we can redraw this as the compression in the concrete. And that acts at a distance. If this distance, if that height is A, this height is at A on two. And then we're gonna have the tension in the steel at the bottom here, which acts at a distance D, which we found in the previous video. Okay, so what we're going to do is just verify that the steel we have said, the 2 and 20 bars, is adequate. And the way we do this is we let the tension in the steel equal the compression in the concrete. So because we're in a pure bending case, this equilibrium has to exist. Now, the tension in the steel is the, the stress of the steel times the area of the steel. That's going to equal the same thing. We're going to just have both of these are stress times area, and this is also stress times area. So that's the stress, that's the area for the compression in the concrete. The stress is alpha 2 FC dash. So that's the stress component. 